Welcome back. It's Melanie or Shisha at Scrappers. So today I am back with a one page layout using the Hello Darlin scrapbooking workshop. I am going to be doing layout one, but I am only going to be doing page two from layout one. I love how you can personalize these scrapbooking workshops to kind of what works for you. Um, so not only am I only going to do a one page layout, but I'm actually adding additional photos to the layout as well as kind of my own different title. So this layout here has, I believe, three by three photos. Um, and I think the original layout only had three photos, but I am turning it into a five photo layout. Um, scrapbooking workshops are great. You get these special die cuts here. Um, they say which project, which layout they are for, and then you just punch them out and you have exclusive kind of embellishments. Um, this one here was quite an easy one to uh, put together. There wasn't much uh, pattern paper, uh, so which is great because this would be a great layout to do if you only had scraps left. Um, so I used my shimmer, my, I think it was my sapphire shimmer brush and added some splatters to that little scalloped circle there. Um, I think they might've used a different color or suggested a different color, but I, I had sapphire and it worked with this layout. So again, here are just the three pattern papers. One of them is actually a branding strip. So really easy, like I said before, a great layout to do if you only have scraps. So because I'm changing it up quite a bit, I am going to lay out my photos uh, beforehand. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have the five photos. Originally, they just had these three down the right-hand side of the page, but I am going to be adding two more at the bottom. Where I have those photos at the bottom, they kind of had journaling and I just felt like it was too open. Um, personally i still think it's a great layout um and so i wanted to add some more to it here i am going to be using a picture my life card so in addition to the scrapbooking workshop i bought the paper and about and sticker sheet the picture my life cards and then the embellishments that came with it so the title that I'm cutting out here. I used a nested circle die to cut it out. Um, that is in addition to the scrapbooking workshop. So that was just a picture my life card that I am going to actually be using for my title. And I am now going to cut out a larger circle of red. So that kind of pops out. You can see how with that in the scalloped um, circle, it kind of blends in a little bit too much. Uh, so the nice thing about having, excuse me, nested circle dies is that you can just do the next size up and it gives you a great border around there. So I decided I am going to commit to these. I believe I probably cut these maybe three and a quarter by three and a quarter um, just so I do have room to add a three by three photo. Um, and then I am just doing opposite color so white red white and then red white across um really a simple design idea but i am loving i guess just how i was able to get five photos and kind of it came together so quickly so the scrapbooking workshop does come with these photo placeholders so i was right um i did cut those original squares probably three and a quarter by three and a quarter um and then i added the photo placeholders i am using photos from this last fourth of july my family got together and we did a lot of minute to win it games and so I have a lot of photos from that and I thought that picture my life card it says I think friends family and fun was just absolutely perfect for the photos I'm going to be using um you can see that that picture my life card is double-sided um it's really cool they have like a landscape um side and then I guess maybe a portrait side is what the other side is so ki same kind of designs um but very versatile. You can use them either way and it just really works for 
any layout. So I am now just following the instructions of the scrapbooking workshop with these embellishments. Um, with the addition of my new title here. So I did put those scallops. Um, those were those specific die cuts for the scrapbooking workshop. Um, so I did add those and then I, I think you saw, I popped that friends, family and fun up on some foam tape. Um, and then I'm just kind of scattering some things about the layout. Now I decided to add a little cluster of hearts down in the bottom. I just kind of wanted another smaller cluster. Obviously that title cluster is your main one and kind of your main focus. Um, so I just wanted to scatter some other things around the layout as well. Um, and then the nice thing is too with these scrapbooking workshops, you always have things left over. Um, so this, you never use the entire sticker sheet. Um, I usually will have uh, papers left over because I like to kind of hoard them, use as little as possible to get the same effect, I guess you could say. Um, so I don't think in the original layout they had these little flowers scattered throughout the layout, but I decided to scatter them because it didn't look like they were being used on any of the other workshops. Um, you can see I'm kind of checking out the other workshops to see what stickers they use to see if there's extra I can kind of add for this layout. So once I'm done kind of scattering these little flowers across kind of the layout and in each of the clusters that is going to finish off this layout. Um, I will link the collection down below and then this month too is cardstock carnival where all the cardstock is on sale. So definitely get your hands on that. Um, stock up on all of the cardstock and we will see you next time. Bye guys.